Tragedy in Greensville County. The superintendent of schools reporting a 10th grader was killed last night. And today the high school closed early. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewith is just back from Greensville County. She is joining us live in the Digital Center with the latest. Olivia. Eric, Deanna, residents who live around the school tell me they had questions about what was going on when they saw students heading home for the day around 9 o'clock this morning. Superintendent Dr. Kelvin Edwards says the closure was in response not only to the death of a student, but also threats made in retaliation. The doors remained shut at Greensville County High School today. After administrators received word from a parent this morning that a 10th grade student had been involved in a homicide yesterday. In the notice detailing students early release posted on the school district's Facebook page, Superintendent Dr. Kelvin Edwards said the campus was secure and safe. Edwards also tells 8 News that while the student's death did not happen on school property, there were threats of retaliation posted on social media. Tomorrow, the superintendent says students at the high school will have an asynchronous learning day, but there will be a crisis team on site to provide support. We are working to learn more about the 10th grader who was killed. Meanwhile, Virginia State Police has confirmed that a 17 year old was shot to death last night during an altercation between passengers in two cars at the intersection of South Braxton Avenue and May Street just over the Greensville County line. But school officials have not said if that shooting victim is the 10th grader they're referring to. And of course, anyone who witnessed the shooting between those two cars is urged to contact Virginia State Police or the Greensville County Sheriff's Office. And as soon as we get more information and clarity, we will have the latest on air and online. As for Greensville County Public Schools, this marks the second time this year that classes have been canceled in the interest of public safety. You may remember back in September, schools closed district wide after receiving a mysterious threat the night before. Today, only the high school closed for class. Live in the Digital Center tonight, Olivia Jakewith, 8 News. A story